Hi guys, my name is Brittany. I'm a mom to a 13 month old and will soon be doing a flight from Vancouver to Boston, which I think is like a six or seven hour flight coming up. And then we've got another flight from Boston to Scotland, which is another, I don't know, like six hour flight. We've already taken 13 flights with our baby son in his first year. And in addition to screen time, I'm always looking for affordable DIY ways to entertain him. I have a whole bunch of activities laid out in front of me that I wanna share with you today. These are not tested yet by me. I'm about to use them in about a week, a week and a half for my flight. So maybe I'll make another video in a couple weeks to let you know how this went. But I have a good feeling about this. My son is not interested in real toys as much as he is in like, junk. So I don't think I can go wrong getting anything from the dollar store or whatever. Actually in the past that's what I've done. I've just gone to the dollar store and sort of wrapped little gifts for him. He's getting a little bit more sophisticated in what he's interested in. He also doesn't sleep as much anymore so I feel like he needs activities that are going to take up more of his time. So I feel like I had to put a little bit more thought into these next couple flights coming up. Two very important tips when you're packing or planning activities for your babies on the plane. The first one is make sure you don't show them these activities. Make sure that they're completely new for them. The novelty factor is very important, which is why I waited until my baby son was napping before I made this video. So I need to hurry up and clean this up before he wakes up so that he can't see any of this stuff until the moment that I wanna give it to him on the plane. Tip number two is to stretch out, make your activities last as long as possible by not over overlapping your activity. If you give your kid a snack, they're only having a snack. A snack counts as an activity. Don't let them eat a snack while watching a movie, for example. And of course, give them one activity or one thing at a time. You want to stretch things out as long as possible during these long flights. I call this activity pill boxes. So get the to a dollar store or go on Amazon. I think I'll actually look for all the things that I talk about today and put links in the description box down below. So they they should be easy for you to find, but um, hopefully your local dollar store will just have all of this stuff too. So just like a colorful pill box, I hope you can see that okay. My plan is to fill this with baby snacks and boom, I have an activity right there for him to open up all the little doors on this thing and hopefully entertain himself for a bit. As far as snacks, I got a mixture of like snacks that he knows and um, novel snacks. Hopefully that will work out well. In that same vein, aha, these I'm excited to try. These are Munchkin, <clears throat> excuse me, Munchkin Snack Catchers. This is probably one thing on the list that's a little bit pricier. These are not dollar store items. It basically allows them to like eat their snacks independently if you've never seen these before. So the snacks go in here and the baby can get the snacks out themselves just by sticking their fingers in there. And then they're supposed to be like almost spill proof. Kind of cool. Yes, snacking is an activity, so this I consider another activity. You'll notice that a lot of the items that I chose to put on this list are like normal household items or like bathroom items or something like that, and that's so that I can reuse them if I want to if they don't get too destroyed on the airplane. It's nice when things can kind of have a, a double use here, so you don't have a bag of toys that are just toys. And yeah, my one-year-old doesn't even seem to care about toys as much as he cares about remote controls and cell phones. This activity is just plastic, little cheap plastic toys from the dollar store and masking tape or painter's tape. Whoopsie, sorry guys, just cutting in here. I'm watching this back and editing my video and realizing I totally forgot to explain the activity for this. It's not really complicated or anything. Basically, you take those plastic figurines and you let your kid tape them all over the place. They can tape them to the tray table in front of them or the window. Another thing you can do is you take the masking tape and make sort of like a little road for them and let them kind of walk the little figurines or creatures or cars or whatever it might be along the road. That's it. Okay, now back to where I was. You can do all kinds of stuff with the painter's tape. This is also really useful for baby proofing at your destination. If you're staying in a hotel, covering up all the outlets, you can use masking tape. If you need to tape up the toilet, <laughs> you can tape up the toilet with masking tape as well. Very useful here. See, everything has 
double uses. You really have to do some math when you're deciding which activities to bring for your baby or toddler on the plane. Like how much does it weigh? How much space does it take in your diaper bag or carry-on bag? Versus how long is your baby actually going to play with it? You know your baby or your toddler best so you can kind of have an idea of what sort of things they like to play with and what will hold their interest. I almost bought this magnet set on Amazon for my son because I felt like he would really like it. He He's sort of fascinated by magnets. But I'm really glad that we went to the library the other day and they had a magnet set like this and he was super interested. I was like, oh yes, he's, he's obsessed with these. We have to, I was thinking to myself, we have to get a box of these for the airplane in a couple of weeks. But then he played with them for, I would say, 10 minutes. He was obsessed with them for 10 minutes and then he lost interest and moved on to a puzzle or something. So I'm glad I didn't spend the money on those cool magnet things. I mean, maybe we'll get them for him in the future, but just not for the plane. Because they take up space, they're heavy, and they didn't hold his attention for long enough. Instead, I'm gonna bring a lot of this cheap junk that I'm showing you today. For this activity, you just need paper plates and either some ribbons like this or yarn or pipe cleaners or shoelaces, some kind of string type thing. And while you're packing, before you go to the airport, make sure you take a pair of scissors and just make some holes like so. Make some holes like this. Voila. This is super lightweight. It takes up no space. Same with the ribbons or strings or yarn. And I think my son, I think Dorian will be super into this. Basically, you just like get it started for them, stick the strings in, and they just have fun kind of like pulling strings through this paper plate thing. Simple, easy, effective. This is a really cheap little sticker activity book that I got from the dollar store. I feel like stickers are sort of the ultimate activity for the airplane, even though they might not be super exciting to clean up afterward. If this video is helping you so far, please remember to like it and subscribe to my channel for more baby travel and family travel tips and tricks. You can buy some cheap stickers and get some secondhand books from a thrift store or maybe from one of those tiny, tiny libraries in your neighborhood. And then just let your baby put the stickers all over the secondhand books that you don't care about. Don't bring any toys or activities onto the airplane that you really care about, that you care about getting destroyed or lost. Another dollar store find, this cheap little pinball game. I don't know, I feel like maybe this will keep him entertained for a few minutes. I bought a set of mini shot glasses so he can stack these on the plane. They can also be used as little snack cups. The combination of containers of some kind, little containers and snacks, are sort of gonna be my go-to for this upcoming flight. Dorian, my son, loves trying to go through my wallet. He loves cards, so any kind of like um, library cards, credit cards, for whatever reason, he loves playing with these things. So I've kind of been amassing random cards, expired cards that he can play with. And I have an old travel wallet. I was thinking about getting a wallet at the dollar store, but I think this will do because he's never seen it before. He can just like have fun putting the cards in the wallet and taking them out. Boom. That's another activity. I also got this little round wallet at the dollar store. He likes playing with zippers, so this has a little zipper. And at the moment, I have my hair ties, a whole bunch of little rubber bands inside. For my son, containers with things inside are the way to go. I don't know about you guys. Let me know if your babies are like this as well. My son's a little bit too young to color, but I noticed about a week ago, I gave him a box of crayons and he freaked out. He loved them so much, mostly trying to eat them and break them and put them in and out of the box because it's a container. But I figure even if he's using them incorrectly, he's entertained by them. So I'm thinking of bringing a box of crayons, washable, non-toxic, and either coloring books or more used books that he can draw in, maybe like double up. He can draw in these, color in these, and also put stickers all over them. And these are toothbrush holders and some q-tips so right, this right here is an activity another container I'm thinking about bringing is an old wipes container to fill it with cotton balls or pom-pom balls that might be something that can entertain him for a bit another container idea are glasses cases my son really likes playing with these kind of things and I bought velcro but I'm not sure yet what I'm gonna do with this I might make like a little sensory board travelable busy board sensory thing if you're interested in how to DIY one of those let me know I'll 
I'll make a video on how to make that. I've also ordered a Water Wow, one of those books where you can um, like start coloring and it doesn't make a mess. I'm not explaining this well, but a lot of moms in Facebook groups recommended this, so I have one on the way. I'll let you know how that goes. And I'm just noticing Dory on the monitor is waking up, so I have to hurry up and clean up all this stuff. Remember, keep everything a surprise from your babies and toddlers before you get on the plane. Please like this video if it was helpful for, t for you today. I can't talk. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you in my next video.